Okay, so did Republicans pay for 2008? And let me just kind of explain this graph, okay? And there's an animated version of it, all right? But basically, this is U.S. congressional districts, okay? Each thing there represents a little patch of land, okay? And this is their GDP. So this is like a poor district. This is a rich district. And in 2008, the solid outline, okay, if you see the solid outline, right, you can see that the outline of red and blue in 2008 is very similar, right? Here are some of the poorer districts. Here are some of the richer districts. And in 2008, blue and red tribe were equally matched, right, in terms of their, their, their district's wealth, okay? But by 2018, the solid dots, you know, are the 2018 distribution, blue had become much wealthier than red, Okay, the median for the blue distribution by 2018 is like, you know, 50 billion GDP, and the median for the blue distribution is somewhere around 30 billion GDP, and all of the richest districts are blue. How did that happen? Well, all the printed money went to blue regions first, and uh, because they were coastal regions, they were connected to the banks and so on, and the bankers knew people on the East Coast more than they did in Oklahoma or whatever. So that Oklahoma cashier was silently diluted and everybody thought they were doing a good thing at this time. The Fed saved the world and the financial crisis and so on and so forth. And basically what it was was just this gigantic tax on Republicans, but it was invisible, right? And now, of course, people will deny this, right? Because basically maybe it was just a coincidence that 2008 to 2016 was a Democrat administration and during this period, Republicans were pauperized, 